Yes, change is in all forms of, in all forms in our life. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, what is change for you? Personally, change for me is everywhere. First time when I went to school, when I was crying to get to the door of the school, to when I went to middle school or high school, my first love, my first break, moving out of the country, going to an unknown place, learning a culture. I mean, think about it. These things happen day and day and night. We may lose a job. We are forced to go things. There is nature that is asking us to do things. There is society which is moving us away. There is chaos. There is good and there is bad. But when I ask about change, everybody thinks about difficult times. They never think about good times. Yes, change is inevitable. Change is in us. Sometimes we don't see change around us. So I'm going to speak to you today about change in two parts. One, organizationally, what it means. And second, personally, how it affects us and what it means to us. Organizationally, every organization comes up with a plan, a vision of how they see the change, how it needs to happen in future. So they're already anticipating a change to grow. They put in a vision, they put in a strategy, they, they enable the resources and material, and it has to be effective. If it is not effective, there could be failures or there could be success. And for example, in military, they call this as commander's intent. A commander always put in his, his command of how things should occur, how they can purpose those resources to effectively complete the mission by using the resources that that person, that commander has. The good thing about a commander intent is at a high, at a high command level, all they need to come up with is a strategy. They plan every soldier's move hours ahead. They know exactly what the battalion is doing, what ammunition they're taking, and what they need to achieve. The good thing is the battalion has their own intent, their own flexibility in executing it. But end of the day, the intent is the same. So that's why the vision strategy is important. Or you can call it a purpose. That's important. The second aspect of it is there when people execute these plans or when companies and organizations execute these plans, those plans may not go as, as accepted or, or expected. But what happens in organization? They throw away the strategy, they throw away the vision. Think of this from a military perspective. If in military, a battalion goes in and they execute and they fail, Will the command change their intent? No. The purpose and the command and the vision is still true even when things change drastically. So what is important to know there? The important thing to know is the vision and strategy is still the same, but you need to repurpose your execution plan. And this is how the Marine Corps does that. They improvise, they adapt, and then they execute. And this improvisation, this adapting, and this overcoming is very important because soldiers die. The people may lose their ammunition, but then they're adapting, and adaption, uh, it's very second back to these, these married corps people. Because at the end of the day, they have a mission to succeed or they have a mission to complete, i.e. the commander intent, I may not execute it, but the responsibility to execute is still within the soldier. And that's what makes them different. And that's where organizations lose when they're falling apart. 
Now I'll come back to my second part. How is it important for us as a personal? Think about the changes that are happening in you, as I said. The good ones and the bad ones. Right? Think about when, my, when your heart is broken. When heart gets broken because of loved one or, or whatever the reason is, it's very difficult to overcome our emotional things. Our emotion overtakes our judgment. And this is where I think we need to heal ourselves and adapt ourselves in knowing what we need to do next. Now think about our new feelings to our new person, our, our human beings. At that point, our emotions still overtake them. And the challenge there is, everything looks rosy and we are overlooking everything. Even though it's the sweetest thing that is happening in our life, we are overlooking everything around us. I think what we need to do there is, look at day by day, enjoy that sweet moment but not overlook those little things and the people around us. But what is important is taking responsibility. The minute we understand that our challenges and change and our problems are ours, I think the years to come will become much more beautiful because, as I said, every change is only one in a million in our life. Now what happens if these changes are overwhelming changes? They're destroying things. Emotionally we can't cope up. This is where we fall back on our family and loved ones. Yes, it is difficult to overcome, but sharing that to our loved ones, they can make it easier for us. But it is still important for us to cope up, cope up those situations. So but if I want to come back and summarize it, there are three things that we need to understand. What is the purpose? How do we adapt and improvise from our lessons learned? Enjoy both the good things and bad things in a change. Remember, change is inevitable. We need to overcome, cope up them. And that's how we will move forward. It is as simple as, I got a new phone, by the time I open it, it already changed in the market. So the saying is, go with the flow. And change is simpler than that. Mr. Toastmaster.